Louisiana Beer Reviews, Orval Trappist Ale, 6.9% alcohol. It says this bottle was brewed on August 30th, 2012, and it's best before August 30th, 2017. And it's brewed in Belgium. 11.2 uh, ounce bottle. Introduced in 1931, this beer contains three malts, two hot varieties, and candy sugar. Gets an outstanding score on Beer Advocate, the bros say world class. 99 out of 100 rate beer, a 100 out of 100 for the style, and a most excellent, excellent score on the beer and meat. All right, let's check it out. I've never had it before. I bought this at a Martin Wine Cellar in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's pretty common in the New Orleans area. Made a nice hiss, and there's a good amount of smoke. In fact, this is bottle conditioned. Look at the liveliness. Can't say this beer doesn't have head on it. It's not beer, it's a glass full of foam. <laughs> anyway, very obviously <laughs> super thick off-white head, breaking down into a, a spongy type head. It's super, super bubbly and brilliant orange, I would say. Yeah, brilliant orange appearance. So let's check it out as far as aroma. Well, it's sweet, it's pungent, it's grain. You get a little bit of that grain husk, you get that, like uh, Chris Seltz was talking about, that Brett. <sighs> yeah, uh, smells kind of like a barn. <laughs> I've been in barns before. Kind of has that. In fact, I was in a barn. In June, and in Oz Bush at their uh, horse stall. It's got that, definitely has that aroma. So it's interesting. It's very different from what you normally smell in a beer. I don't even, I can't even describe it. You got to get it and smell it yourself. Let's go with the flavor. I could make stuff up, but why? Let's go with the flavor. Sweet, funky, bready, candy like. You get that strange yeast flavor. <laughs> um, not really any grain husk. Now, I always wonder what these beers would taste like if they weren't sweetened with candy. Some of them aren't, but most are. Like, what, would it be as good or would it be dull? There is some hot bitterness for sure to balance out that sweetness. It's not super hoppy. And the, the mouth feels prickly and, you know, on the light side, a little, I'll say slick sounds better than, than saying slimy. Some decent lacing. In fact, it's going to be heavy lacing when, it, when we're finished with this. Uh, the finish is very dry. Not but light dry, but dry although close to that and here we are at 8 30 8 8 40 in the morning it's refreshing it's delicious it's easy drinking it's mild um, it's got such an unusual aroma and that I'm telling you it's uh, it smells and tastes like that horse stall at Anheuser Busch with all those Clydesdales and I've never tasted horse stall but I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, you got to try it this is great I mean look at this head it's so lively it's so wonderful if this ain't an A plus they don't have A plus beers I got to go all the way with this even higher than the beer and meat I'm gonna go with the bros I'm gonna say it well I'm gonna go with beer advocate I'm gonna say it's outstanding I don't know about world-class which would be the highest possible rating on earth but it's at least outstanding at the minimum it's an A plus these guys in Belgium know their stuff. So, I know I'm going to get flack about it. You don't know how to pour beer. I'll probably, probably do know how, and I'll just pour it the way I feel like it. If 
you want to tilt the glass, tilt the glass. What difference does it make? I'm not drinking out of a tap. I'm not getting cheated. 11.2 ounces is 11.2 ounces. Study the law of the conservation of matter, okay? Anyway, laissez le bon temps rouler. This is an excellent beer. I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeast Louisiana.